Today on BRS TV, we have the Verve LED from Giesman. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV. This week, we're gonna give you a quick hands-on experience with the Verve LED module from Giesman. Just a quick heads up, while at face value, it might look fairly similar to some other modules out there, I think it steps ahead of the pack in some pretty important ways and truly represents what we should expect from the next generation of LED lighting for our reef tanks. And surprisingly, because it's lower cost than some of the other leaders, might represent one of the best values out there. In fact, if I was shopping for an LED module in a form factor like this, I think the Verve would be at the top of my list. Why? Well, we all have different factors that are important to us, but in almost every one that's meaningful to me, the Verve outperforms most of the competition. Let's start with the obvious, with there's a total of 52 LEDs. The Verve just has a lot more actual LEDs than other modules like this. Well, quantity is nice, which really cools the spectrum differences. Most of the other modules only have two or three channels of blue. We ran a quick test with the MK350 spectrometer to get an idea how these spectrums and channels work together to create a really full spectrum light, most importantly in that blue range which corals actually use to provide nutrition for growth and health. The Verve has four blue channels with royal blue which peaked around 445 nanometers, the deep blue channel peaked around 460, lagoon blue around 470, and the UV channel which is a mix of deep blue and UV LEDs had a near UV spike around 400 nanometers. Okay, so that doesn't mean a lot to many of you, but more or less it just means that when we combine all four of these blue channels together, the Verve has one of the widest blue spectrums we've come across, and with individual controls of these bands, you can really create whatever spectrum you like and shift the peak back and forth. The Verve also has a cool white channel, which includes more of the green, yellow, and reds, as well as a deep red channel, which also has warm whites. Once you combine them all together, I think this is an awesome light from a spectrum perspective for sure. In fact, with all the blues and UV turned up to 100% and the cool white at 50%, this is about as close as I've seen to the infamous ATI Blue Plus T5 bulb reefers have had so much success with for the last decade. That setting is likely too bright for most tanks, but you can adjust up and down with a similar ratio to achieve the same effect. I'd also note that the LEDs are mounted in recessed reflectors rather than lenses, and there are varying opinions on this, but my general feeling is I prefer really wide-angle lenses or no lenses at all. Lenses are really just a focus of light into the tank and increase intensity. As our knowledge of lighting reef tanks with LEDs progresses, pretty much everyone agrees that intensity is very far from our current list of issues. In fact, we have so far overshot that goal that most people are actually turning their LED modules down to 30 to 60% depending on what's in the tank. The real issues these days is the highly directional spread of light that comes from LED clusters and the proper color spectrum blending, which is not only for visual appeal, but also so the corals receiving that blended light source rather than hot spots of individual spectrums, which can come from poorly built lenses. End of the day, with LED clusters like this, I just prefer ultra wide angle lenses or no lenses at all. You do lose some par intensity this way, but that's not even a real issue in comparison to the advantages you get from wider angle solutions with more even intensity, reduced shadowing effects, improved spectrum and color blending. In relation to this, even though the Verve has a lot more LEDs with 52, as you'd expect from the next generation of reef tank LED modules, the focus isn't about maximum power or horsepower any longer, and the next wave of lights are now being designed around actual performance and solving issues that allow us to grow larger, healthier corals. Because of that, even with the 52 LEDs, it's actually lower par than some of the highest par competitors. Rather than focus on the highest par level no one was using anyways, they expanded the spectrum, increased the angle and evenness of the light intensity, blended those spectrums intelligently, and running the LEDs at a lower wattage so they run cooler and your module lasts longer. One nice element is inside the power supply is one of the best power supplies out there with the Meanwell driver. With any LED, the power supply is really the only component that's likely to fail, so it's nice that you can replace it with an easy to obtain, off the shelf and affordable option like this, rather than something proprietary to an aquarium brand. As a true next gen light, they also stepped up and passed everyone else by not only having a Bluetooth iPhone app and an Android version on the way, both of which connect directly without any expensive accessories, but it's also the only option out there which has basically full control with an on-screen display. While the phone will always be easier for full setup, there are absolutely times when I appreciate the ability to make small tweaks or simply turn it on or off right at the light itself. Those of you that don't have that ability know what I'm talking about. Phone app connects directly to the Verve via Bluetooth and super easy to use. Open the app and make immediate changes to the light or set up programs using easy to drag around set points. Basically everything you need to set up whatever lighting program you desire. 
Some of the benefits of this Bluetooth connection is you don't need Wi-Fi or a router, which basically means there's no setup to make it work. Just open up the app, click on your Verve, and access it. Beyond that easy setup, there's also legit reasons why reefers might be happier with Bluetooth connections, starting with you don't have to buy expensive accessories to connect to it, and you don't have to be concerned about your router at all. Is it working, or how far is it from the tank? It's also easier to update firmware when it comes out. This is a good time to mention that the Verve comes in two models, the Plus currently at 729, which includes Bluetooth to control other modules, and the Verve 1, which is a slave module and only 679. That means you can buy one Verve Plus as a master and use it to wirelessly control up to 99 Verve Ones as well. This master-slave configuration can save you a pretty sizable amount of money, even more so if you don't need to buy accessories to get wireless access. I'd also like to let you know that if you don't need the phone app and okay with programming via the display, you can save yourself 50 bucks and just get the Verve One. Not only is it a slave module, but it can be operated independently with just the display. Another area they stepped up their game is rather than using an off-the-shelf heatsink and wrapping it in a plastic mold, the entire body is an aluminum heatsink designed specifically for this application, which is not only super functional but also low profile and attractive. The powder-coated iridium body is arguably the best looking module out there by a pretty significant degree. And that's largely because for Germans, form absolutely has to match function. The light needs to look as sharp outside of the tank as it does inside the tank, which is something I think way too many manufacturers and even reefers overlook too easily. I want every element of the tank to look sharp. End of the day, I really do think Giesemann produced everything you'd expect from a next-gen LED light for our reef tanks. With really one exception, it's more affordable than some of the other lights in the same class. I really think they nailed the more, better, and lower cost everyone desires from a next-gen of any product. Let us know what you think about the Verve and check out other reefers' opinions by clicking the I in the upper right-hand corner and checking out the poll. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments area below. We do our best to answer them quickly. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.